hi guys this is going to be a short video um i saw some nice post today by ahmad van on linkedin and it was about the latest uh list slicer uh, released by microsoft in october 2024 okay so for you to be able to get that uh, you need to download the latest version just go to this site i'll make that also available for you to download once downloaded uh, you just go to file You go to file, you go to options and settings. So I'll go to options here. It's going to bring a pop-up window for us to select the feature. Okay, so I'm still waiting for it. Okay, so you go to preview features here and then you see it here, list slicer visual. So I've already ticked it, which means it's already part of my uh, Power BI version. So what you do next is to click OK, but because I have already added it, I'll just click Cancel. OK, so now once added, you will see it here. You can see uh, this slicer tooltip. I think uh, there is a bug here. It should be uh, this slicer new. OK, so very good. So what you do now, let's do this. Let me create a new page. And then I'll bring in the old slicer first. Okay, so let me select the old slicer. I'll put it here and then just add uh, maybe expense type to this. Okay, so this is the old slicer. Yeah, so I'll just uh, change this. Let me remove the slicer header with the title. Uh, just say expense type. This okay. So I'll now go to my subtitle and then I'll type old slicer. Old list slicer. Okay. Very good. Okay. So now I want to create the new one. So let me go and select the new list slicer or list slicer new sorry i shouldn't have let me just uh, go back to this and then make sure this is not selected and then i'll go and select the new slicer or list slicer new then i'll drag and drop it here okay so i've created a number of tables so this is going to be name okay so this is the new slicer. The first thing I want to do is to just leave it as it is. Then you can select it yet. So let me change the title to maybe players. But what is important here is the subtitle where I'll be uh, typing exactly what I've done on the visual. Okay, so here I'll just type just uh, a lovely subtitle okay okay now let's go back to this page what i want to do is to copy and paste each one of them so i'm going to have it nine times so i'll copy and paste this here this year and then get it nine times so we can fast track whatever we are going to do Okay, so we have four of them uh, copied and pasted. Okay, so the first one is okay. For the second one, we want to take out the borders. So I'll just go to buttons here and then take out the borders. <coughs> Sorry, this is in the selected state. So I'll select default and take out the borders. Okay, so this is how it is. Very good. Now the next one, uh, this one, let me just say without border. That is uh, the subtitle. Okay, so the next one is going to be different state color. 
So it's first of all going to be without border. So let me just change the subtitle. Okay, so here it's going to be without the border first. So make sure it's default without the border. And then when it is selected, the color changes. So I'll go to selected. And what I want to do is the fill color is going to be this color that I use. Okay, so let me select this. Then you can see. Okay, so we have this. Now the next one is going to be without uh, with uh, the icon having different colors. I'll use this one. Okay, so the icon having different colors. So I'll go here. And uh, in the selection icon, um, selection icon settings, I'll come here, change this one to make sure it is uh, in default state. You can change it also when it's selected, but let's change it in default state. So when you do this, you have, you see that it has changed, the color is now red. And then the next thing I want to do is to take out the border as well, just like I did for the other one when it is in the default state. So I'll take out the border and then we have this here. So when I click, I want the color to be what I used for the previous one. So I'll select this color when it is selected. Okay, very good. Now the next one, let me just copy and paste this. Copy and paste this, bring it down. And this is going to be player five, that's for the table. Okay, so here, what I did was to move the icon to the right side. Okay, so you can just go to the selection icon and what you do is to go to layout and then here you can just say right and then you have the icon on the right side. Very good. Now, the next one is without icon. So let me just copy and paste here. Okay, so the next one is without icon. Let me change the table to number six. So this is without icon. So you go to selection icon and what you do is to just uh, off it. So here you don't have this anymore. You can center the call out value, that's, that's okay. Now the next one is to change the shape of the button. So let me bring it here and then I'll change it to number six. I think it's six. This should be seven. Okay, so here I bring back the selection icon. Okay, and I want it to be on the left side okay so we have it here and i want to change the shape when it is selected so look at what i'm going to do so i'll go to shape here and i want to use you can make it rounded rectangle you can also make it snippet tab both top and this is what i use now what i did is to just reduce this one to maybe 10. okay so i made it 10 you can see and then um yeah i think this this is fine let me just make this a bit bigger okay this is fine okay so this is it if you want to use this shape now the next one is to use a different shape so a customized one so let me copy and paste this uh let's customize the shape we are just having fun, okay? So, um, I'll use player 8 for this, okay? So, we have this here now. And then for the shape, it's going to be the same. Just that uh, I click on customize style. And then on top left, I made it 10. And then I move to the bottom right corner and i made that one also 10. this is how i did this okay and uh, the next one is 
to change the icon uh, color when it is selected. Okay, so let me copy and paste this. Okay, so now let's go to selection icon. First of all, I want to change the, the table name to, uh, uh, let me use movie or anything that I want. Okay, so if I don't want to use, if I don't want to use this, what I can do is to just select this because this is taking the selection of this. So I will select this. It's also the same table. I'll go to format. Sorry, in the format, let's make sure we select this and say, okay, so don't affect this. And also I, I'll make sure this is selected and I say, okay, so don't affect this. That's fine. So that when I select, it doesn't filter this one. Okay, so the next one is for us to change the uh, icon color and make it even bigger when it is selected. So I'll go to selection icon. I'll go to default. I'll select selected. And there I'll say, okay, so when it's selected, I want the color to be black. Okay, so look at that. The color has changed to black. And I want to change the size to maybe something like 30. Look at that. Okay, very good. Okay, so today we're just having fun. Now, the last one is to put a um, cascading uh, option. Let, let me just select this. Or let me just uh, copy and paste this. Now, we go here. Okay. And this one is not going to uh, take this. So, I'll use the calendar. Okay. So, I'll go to calendar. Select the year okay so the year is going to be here and then i'll select the month so i want the month to be under it so you can see look at this it's just like the the old one but you can also filter it more so we can take out this uh icons so let me just go to default and say okay so i don't need the icons there so you can see and then this one can also be uh, formatted more. So if you want to reduce it here, you can see there are many. So I'll just, I just have to go to layout and say, okay, so we have 12 months. Look at what is going to happen. I select 12 months. And then you can still see we have uh, the scroll here. So what you have to do, I think it's taking into consideration the year. So what I have to do is to just make it 18 and see what we get. So we get this out now. And then you can see, you can select, press control and select many as well this is fine okay so this is what i have uh, for you today just for us to have fun okay remember to subscribe like and share thank you so much bye